Hello, I'm Holly Cobsey of Virtually Priceless and this is episode 35 of VPTV. Each week I share my tips and advice on productivity and lessons learned from growing my agency business over the last six years, all with the aim of helping you save time and hopefully money in your own business. One of the things that I know really helps set me up for success is to spend an hour or so planning my week before it starts. So today we're going to explore this to see if it's something that could also help you. Carving out just one hour of focus planning time on a Friday afternoon or at some point over the weekend really can set the tone for a productive, stress-free week. Not only will it help you to better manage your time, you'll also reduce overwhelm, accomplish more of the right type of work that moves your business forwards and hopefully improve the balance in your personal life as well. So where do you start with this precious hour of time you set aside? Firstly, I would suggest doing a quick review of your long-term business or personal goals to ensure your weekly plan aligns with them. What are those big rocks you're striving for this quarter? Once you've revisited these, you need to identify two to three key projects for the week that will make the biggest impact on your progress towards these priorities. Be clear about your intentions for the week. What exactly do you want to accomplish by the end of it? How much time will that take? Do you need anyone's assistance along the way? Until you're crystal clear about exactly what you need to achieve, it's very hard to figure out how to do so. I'd recommend spending 10 to 15 minutes on this first step before moving on. The second step is to break down each major goal or project you identified into smaller actionable tasks. For each day, assign key tasks that will help you move closer to your goals. I find it helpful to batch similar tasks wherever possible, so think about having a block of time where you respond to emails, another way you schedule calls or hold meetings, and then some bigger chunks where you have time set aside to work on those priority items. Check out episode 23 of VPTV where we go into more detail about time boxing and how this method can really help you become so much more productive. Make sure you review what's already in your calendar and don't be afraid to cancel, reschedule or delegate commitments if they're not a priority and will prevent you from achieving the things you really need to get done to make progress. This second step will likely take you another 10 to 15 minutes or so. Before you finalise your schedule for the week, spend another 10 minutes making sure your non-negotiable commitments are added to your calendar. This includes personal appointments, family-related logistics such as school runs and ferrying children about, walking a dog and so on. Any key business meetings or events you must attend will likely already be on your calendar, but don't forget to ensure you have adequate travel and or prep time blocked for those commitments that require it. Around this core schedule, you can then block out time for deep work sessions where you'll focus on your most important tasks. Don't forget to also ensure you schedule adequate breaks to step away from your desk to maintain your energy and focus. Then I would spend just a few minutes thinking about potential challenges that could derail your week. This could be an urgent task or unexpected meeting that crops up. It's wise to have a little buffer time in your schedule to allow for these last minute challenges without sacrificing productivity and preventing you from achieving what you've set out to do that week. Of course, very few of us have the perfect week, but by planning for the unexpected, hopefully any disruptions won't completely ruin what you've set out to accomplish. Finally, if you still have a little time left over and want to really get organised, you might also want to spend a few minutes organising your workspace and decluttering digital tools such as your inbox and task manager. I often do a short email blitz and click up tidy up so I can deal with any quick tasks and get clear on exactly what's outstanding before I begin the week. So here's a quick recap of the five steps to work through. Number one, review your big picture goals. Two, break down the tasks required to make progress on those major projects. Three, schedule non-negotiable commitments. Four, build in time to allow for disruptions. And five, organize your workspace and tools. If you're feeling overwhelmed with your workload and want to feel more in control, spending an hour up front can really help to transform your week allowing you to tackle goals with clarity and purpose. And if you want to spend even less time streamlining your planning and getting more organized, you could work with a virtual assistant to make the process even more effective. 
They can help you keep track of your time, ensure you're delegating appropriately, and they can protect your time and manage your diary effectively so you can focus on the most critical tasks that will drive your business forward. So I hope today's episode has been helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week for episode 36.